moments ago. I mean, literally within a couple of minutes, Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene went to the House floor ahead of a vote to strip her of her committee assignment in an attempt to explain and defend her past comments that promoted dangerous and unhinged conspiracy theories, along with violence against prominent Democrats. Here's some of what she said. Here's the problem. Throughout 2018, because I was upset about things and didn't trust the government, really, because the people here weren't doing the things that I thought they should be doing for us, the things that I just told you I cared about. And I want you to know, a lot of Americans don't trust our government, and that's sad. The problem with that is, though, is I was allowed to believe things that weren't true, and I would ask questions, questions about them and talk about them. And that is absolutely what I regret. Children. Regret. It's about the closest you're going to hear um, for anything that even comes close to an apology. There was no apology. Now, we have a lot to unpack from those remarks. And as you can see there, Congresswoman Green basically tried to portray herself more as a victim, not as a perpetrator of all this nonsense. And she tried to distance herself from past support of QAnon conspiracy theories, desperately trying to draw a line around the year 2018 and somehow compartmentalize anything there and saying that was a different person. So right now the House is debating ahead of that vote this afternoon to strip Congresswoman Green of her two committee assignments. It's a vote that's going to put every member on the record about where they stand on Green. The previous support of any number of unhinged and dangerous conspiracy theories, along with her reported promotion of violence against prominent Democrats. And she even had the gall to somehow compare QAnon to the media. And that was in her contrite moment there on the House floor. So I don't think she's doing much to win sympathy if that was her goal. But we shall see. And Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.